welcome back to Kim's Creations and my Laramar attempt number five. Okay, so for this one, I am not going to do a push at the end. And um, I may even add in the drop of black like Julie does from pouring your heart out. So let's see what happens, eh? All right, so today I am using quinacridone magenta. Again, acrylic inks by Holbein, and I'm also uh, using primary cyan. These two together will make purple. My glitter, again, these glitters I got off Timu, and I really like them because they're, they're different sizes in each package, and they're kind of holographic, so they give off different colors. For example, this blue one has a bit of a purple to it. Um, the pink one also has a bit of blue and purple to it. And um, this blue one, I think gives off like a little bit of silvery green kind of to it. So anyway, I'm going to use definitely the pink. I haven't decided if I'm going to use the dark uh, blue one or if I'm going to use the light blue one with this. I guess I'm just going to see how these look. So I've got my resin laid out. This is going to be my white. I am going to use the cast and craft here. I'm going to put six drops in. Whoa, one, two, three, four, I'm gonna check that because I'm wondering if I might have put in that first one looked like it could have been a little heavy. Could have been like a drop and a half. So I want to see. I did pull a tiny amount of resin out of each of these cups and I put it in this one um, which I had already put some of that pink glitter into um, just so that I don't use up all of my resin. Oh also on this one I am not going to add in the pearl white and the reason is you don't really, like this is the one that I used it on and you don't really see the pearlization on the, on the top side. So I figure why bother? I don't think it'll affect the outcome at all because plenty of other um, people who do this don't put in a pearlizing tint to their stuff, so. Uh, I don't know, do I add more? I think I'm gonna leave it at that. That looks pretty good to me. Call that good. All right, and as usual, I'm gonna pour this in here right away so that I can get those bubbles dissipating. Now, why, why did I wipe off my stick? Also, this time I thought I would not swirl the white around like I did on my other four um, and see if I get more of the pigments. Oh, I guess I could have mixed that white a little better. See if I get more of the pigments on that, um, on the chunky edge. By the way, this mold here is from Julie. She makes um, lots of different molds um, and you can purchase them off of her eBay store. Um, I will link the store down below and this one here is the um, Chunky Live Edge Mold in case you want to get it. All right, I'm going to pull this down here while I do the tap, tap, tap. Bubbles stick to the bottom. 
Oh, I just got, I know I got a piece of glitter in there. Because it's on my hand. Get out. I don't want that loose glitter floating around yet. Don't spray these molds um, because alcohol ink will affect how the resin acts. So don't do it. Don't be tempted. Just say no. I think I'm gonna make the blue the dark one. So I am going to start with, all right, I really had to think about this. These cups mess my brain up. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna start with seven. And I said I was gonna add a drop of the black. So let's do one drop of the black. So there they are. Let's mix these up. And this is supposed to be very dark. It's not that dark to me. I'm going to be adding more. I mean, you know, you're looking at this probably and saying, yeah, it's pretty dark but compared to the first one I did, it was not that dark. I mean, it was darker than that. All right, so the order, all right, we're gonna do two. I'm gonna do this one first. I'm gonna try and find that middle and dump her in. Scrape that out. I don't know that my dump was too perfect. But we'll see. Okay, that's that one. And I better hurry up. And now we got the blue. Find that center again. I think I'm sucking at finding these centers. What can you do? <laughs> Red, white, and blue. Okay. 
right, and there we are. All right, we're back. It's the next day. Here we go, the important bit. I don't know. I see some of that pink that's gone to the outside and there's purple. Not so sure about those cloudy bits though. So we'll check it out together. To get it all undone. Okie dokie. Uh -oh. O-M-G, oh, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love it. I think this might be my, my best one. <laughs> Look at that. I like it because I've got banding through here. Um, and I've got, you know, distinct rows and patterns. I've got blue, I've got pink, and I've got, you know, kind of that hint of purple through the combination of the, of the blue and pink. So awesome. And I'm really glad actually that I added in that light blue um, glitter into it. I think it just, adds to it all. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with this. What do you guys think? Yeah, excited. Absolutely love it. All right, I will show you some still pictures. Um, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of, of this particular Laramar. And um, hit that notification bell. Next time I upload a uh, video, you'll get notified. All right. Thank you, as always, for being here. We'll catch you on the next video. Bye for now.